So for today, we're going to be looking at the new ornaments that the Titans got for Season of the Plunder, specifically the Saint-14 helmet and the Sight and Ramparts. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, it really does help. And a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed. So if you can do me a favor, subscribe, like for the video, comment, all of that really does help. Motivates me to make more content for you guys. And yeah, let's just get into it. So the first one we're going to be looking at is the Sainted Visage. I think this is probably one of the more better ornaments that the Titans have gotten in a while, if I'm being quite honest. It looks terrifying. It's the, the Saint-14 helmet from the season of the splicer video where they viewed him as a nightmare amazing job whoever thought about making this an ornament you deserve a raise because that was easily like the smartest thing you could do it's such a good helmet uh unfortunately i think okay let me just get this out of the way i think it looks amazing it looks super fucking cool metal as fuck the negative that comes into mind is the fact that you're going to see this a lot with this ornament, specifically what I'm the example set that I have. You're going to see a lot of Titans like this. So just be aware of that. Before we get into the example set, let's actually look at the shaders real quick. So for Echoed Anger, I actually think it looks really good. I love the red. I also love that the like jaw inside the helmet actually is the blue steel. I think that's a smart choice. And overall, I think this looks really cool. I also love the spikes on the feather tips, like the 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 metal tips. I I love that there's spikes that's super metal. For Abyssinian gold, I think uh, it's okay. You definitely like the fact that the middle of the helmet is glowy. I think that's super cool. But other than that, I wouldn't combine it with this shader. And for Sato tribe, I'm not. I'm honestly not the biggest fan of this one. I think this looks better with like red because obviously it looks like a demon. So that's probably going to be the best choice. Although you could probably pair it with the Saint 14 shade that we got from Season of Dawn, if I remember correctly. I think that would be really good because then at that point, it's like a really weird inversion of like how Saint usually is compared to like this ornament for the example set. This is what I mean when I say you're going to see this type of Titan a lot. You're going to see a lot of uh, descending echo stuff on this ornament. You're going to see a lot of uh, war Newmans, which is the uh, which is the King's Fall armor, which, by the way, I have reviewed. If you guys haven't seen it, I'll have it right now. But you'll also see a lot of a pilot's following stuff and even Florian stuff to some extent. You're going to see a lot of organic stuff with it because obviously you're going to want to combine it with like uh like hive stuff or anything like skeletal stuff like that. You're going to want to combine it with that because that's going to pair the best. So for the arms, we're using the Forian gauntlets. You can switch a lot of these. They're very interchangeable. So if you don't like the Forian gauntlets, but you like the chest piece, then you can switch out the chest piece with the, with the war Newman's arms and it'd be, it'd look good as well. So for the war newman we're using the chest piece because i like the chest piece i actually do like the chest piece and i love the spikes in the back as well for the boots i think the descending echo greaves are probably the best piece from the whole descending uh echo gree or i think the descending echo greaves are the best piece from the whole set personally i like the arms i do but at the same time i think the boots just look amazing and then for the mark we have the apilos following mark and yeah, overall, you're going to be seeing a lot of this Titan. Uh, I'm super late to the party as well. So you've already most likely have seen this look before. Hopefully in the future, we get a little bit more hive organic looking armor or even like or like a skeletal armor, because the more variety we have, the less that Titan you'll see. So Titans, let me know what you guys think. Definitely a cool ornament. But unfortunately, like I said, you're just going to be seeing that Titan a lot. The last one we're going to be looking at is Kaiden Ramparts. And unfortunately, I think this is like a DOA. It's dead on arrival for me personally. I am never going to wear this one. And I'm going to be mad when I get it in a, in a bright engram because I think it's let me let me get this out of the way. Does it look cool? Hell yeah, it looks beautiful. My gripe with it is it's just so ornamental and so distinct that it's going to be really hard for you to pair it with something. As for how it shaders, it actually shaders fucking beautifully, which is so weird. Uh, as you guys can see from Echoed Anger, it looks beautiful. It it looks so good. 
like when you shader this it looks beautiful and almost makes me want to buy it but unfortunately it's just so specific like the example set that i have i'm not the biggest fan of it although i don't think it looks terrible which is funny so for the example set we're using the pyric ascent helm because i want to go for organic not organic but like very uh shapey vibes so like for example, the Nemean plate is a good example of this because there is a lot of ornamentation in there. You, you have the lion, but you also have like a lot of the lines in the armor itself, which is what you want to see because the arms have a lot of that. So for the boots, obviously the four engraves were an easy choice because you want engravings. That's what you really want. You want pieces that have a lot of engravings and a lot of like uh, circular shapes, I guess you would say because obviously that's what you see in the arms for the mark we're using the mark of optimacy and this one you can actually switch out for other pieces i think the forian uh mark would actually be really good as well because that one has a very organic belt so i think that one would probably be the best but for the helmet you could do either the either the pirate for the helmet you can either do the pyric ascent helm or you could do the Nemean helmet as well. I think the Nemean helmet is also a really good choice. So Titans, let me know what you guys think. I personally think the Saint 14 ornament is the best. Not saying the uh, Nevoa Parapet. I haven't even said that name yet. <laughs> uh, I think the ornament looks so beautiful. It's just that it doesn't look good for an ornament in destiny 2 because we don't have a lot of orna ornamental armor sets for the Titan. And even the pieces that we do it doesn't look that great with it. I just think it's a little out of place, I guess. But yeah, Titans, let me know what you guys think. Uh, are you guys going to buy some of these? I know y'all are going to buy that same 14 one for sure. But I definitely want to hear about the people who want to pick up the Nevoa, uh parapet. Because it doesn't look terrible. It's just unfortunately, I think it's misplaced with the Titan. Maybe another class should have gotten it. Definitely not the Hunters because we don't have a lot of ornamentation. Maybe the Warlocks. But yeah, I would love to hear your thoughts. Uh, be safe and I'll see you guys later.